What's up, everybody? Joshua Kakuin here, and we're welcome to another property tour. So today, we are going to tour this beautiful luxury modern eight-bedroom mansion located inside East Legon, Accra, Ghana. East Legon is one of the prime areas right here in Ghana. Details about this property. This beautiful home features 8 bedrooms, 8.5 bathrooms, 3 living rooms. Of course, that includes a double height volume hall, 2 cooking kitchen and 1 kitchenette. Security quarters, elevator, 5 balconies, 3 car park garage and a swimming pool. This 8 bedroom home is up for $1.4 million. I am sure you are asking yourself if it's worth the price. Let me help you with the right answer. It is more than worth the price. So watch the video to the end and give me your honest opinion. This property is set on 140 feet by 70 feet land size. Before we go inside to take a look at what this beautiful modern mansion has got for us, kindly hit the like button and subscribe to this channel. This channel is all about real estate and beautiful home tour in Ghana. As always, I will leave my contact details in the description field. Kindly reach out to me if interested in this beautiful home. Let's start our tour. We will begin our tour at the main entrance, which has a sliding motorized gate. As you can see, as soon as you open the gate, you are ushered into a very spacious compound. You have your security booth or security quarters located next to the motorized gate. By the way, what is the difference between gate and door? Leave your answer in the comment section. One of the things that genuinely embraces you as soon as you walk into this property is its beautiful, modern, timeless facade, which actually welcomes you to its premises. As you can see, you have a rather large compound where you can participate in one or two activities with your children and host events of any kind. You have plenty of space to do anything that will truly allow you to fully enjoy the facility, which is a very good thing. Additionally, on the left wing of the facade or the frontage of this property, there is a pool, an outdoor resting area that is covered by a transparent glass that is perfect for relaxing or doing anything else that truly allows you to enjoy the facility to the fullest. You can convert this space into a mini gym or anything that best suits your preference. As you can see, the entire complex floor has been finished and covered in terracotta, adding even more beauty to the property. You can also see a patch of vegetation that complements the entire space. As you can see, if you examine the facade closely, you will notice that the living area, which is actually a double volume living area, has a floor to ceiling glass. I will demonstrate that to you shortly. On this side, you have your garage. And you notice that you have two open garage concepts and an enclosed garage concept as well. This home gives you enough space to park about 7 to 10 cars, space to serve as playing grounds for your kids. The developer added extra doors to serve as an emergency exit to the parking space. I will show you that shortly. Stay with me, let's continue with our tour. I am going to show you more interesting features of this property. Let's take you inside so you get to see what this beautiful mansion has got for us. Before you enter the main house, there is a two-step that leads to the porch outside. From there, there is a gorgeous security door that opens to the property's ground level. Let me take you inside so you can see what we have. You are now able to enter this area by opening the security door. Thus, there is a private family area to the right, the guest living area to the left, and this tall glass curtain to the right that allows you to see the outside. If you are on the first floor of the property, you can also appreciate and enjoy that view, which makes it even more special. And here is something really lovely that the developer did, and I think it deserves a praise. There is a supporting column that holds the decking, but the developer decided to give it a little more artistic touch to draw attention away from the fact that it's a column. That way, it looks even more lovely and you can place flowers there. I love the spot lighting right here. Now, that's your elevator right beside the staircase, so you don't necessarily have to take the staircase almost all the time. On the ground level, you have one bedroom, but I'm going to show you that in a bit. 
So before I forget, you've got this security door leading to the garage on the front side. This can also serve as an emergency exit. You can see you have ample windows bringing in tons of natural daylight and ventilation into the premises and that's a very good thing, trust me. On this side of this space, you've got this beautiful internal door taking you to the guest washroom right there. Cool right? Let's take a quick tour. Now, let me show you the kitchen and then from there, I take you to the bedroom on the ground level. Both the dining area and your kitchen are located on this side of the room. It's quite interesting that you can utilize this area for your dining area and set up a 6 or 8 seat dining table. This space is flooded with natural light thanks to the windows. Going forward, this area has your kitchen with cabinet all installed and fully equipped with all the appliances you need for very convenient and comfortable cooking experience. As you can see, you have an island right here which is pretty cool. You can even set up your chairs right here to enjoy your meal anytime you choose. You've got a cabinet that houses your double door refrigerator, your oven as well as your microwave which is pretty cool. I love the color white with a combination of black and it's pretty nice. Right here, you've got your gas cooker and heat extractor well mounted. I love the fact that you have a lot of st storage space to put in all your cooking stuff and your food stuff without necessarily exposing them. That's pretty cool because you have ample space to get to do a lot of things. You've got this door right here leading to the outside terrace or outside porch. It can also serve as an emergency exit door from the kitchen. This brings you to the backyard and you have these as more like a service room to store in one or two things like washing machine or anything that will actually make you enjoy the property. And then this particular door here takes you to the second kitchen. This is more like a pantry room where most of the cookings are done. Remember, you have two cooking kitchen and you have one kitchenette. So this is one of the kitchen on the ground. Let me show you around. So, as you can see, you have an L-shaped base kitchen cabinet. You also have a top cabinet. I love the tile combination on the wall as well as the ones on the floor. It practically complements itself. This particular door right here brings you to the fresh room of the ground level. As you can see, it's pretty spacious, technically around 24 meters square thereabouts. And then right here, you've got your inbuilt closet area, of course, spanning from ground all the way to the top of the ceiling, giving you more storage space. And then we've got this beautiful brown internal door opening up to the bathroom area. This room is mo mostly used as the guest bedroom. Your guests will definitely feel comfortable sleeping in this room. Now, let's continue our tour to the first floor so I get to show you what's up there. You can see the staircase well designed. You also have this balustrade for safety reasons. I love everything about this house. So, climbing up onto this level, you are welcome with this space, which can be assumed to be your family area. Small space you can set up for family gathering. This home is built for extended family. Now, on this floor, you've got a total of five bedrooms all in suit. So we've got two bedrooms on this side. We are going to take a tour on this side and then we will take you to the other side. Now, on this end, you realize that you can actually convert here or use here as your family area, more like a private family area. Of course, you get to do your furniture and all that. Enjoy the space now, let's take you to the second room.
So, this is one of the rooms on the first level, technically spacious, and it commands a space of about 24 to 25 meters square, which is quite big. And then you have ample windows bringing in natural daylight into the premises. You've got this door opening up to the bathroom area for this bedroom. You've got your inbuilt wardrobe spanning from floor to ceiling, giving you more closer space to store in things. That's quite nice. I love everything about this room. I mean the color combination of tiles and the wall. The paint actually complements itself. Now, let's take you to the next bedroom on the floor. After that, we head straight to the remaining bedrooms on the other side. So this is the second bedroom on the first floor. As you can see, you have tons of space, commanding a space of about 32 to 33 meters. It is very spacious and gives you the luxury to do a lot of things in this particular bedroom. One of the things I have noticed so far is that all the bedroom spaces are quite big. Looking at this space, you realize that you've got tons of windows, bringing in natural daylight and proper ventilation. You have this slidable burglar proof with sliding glass that actually opens up to the balcony area where you get to enjoy the view of your surrounding neighborhood. Now, on this side of the space, you've got your inbuilt closet space spanning from floor to ceiling, giving you tons of storage space to put in your personal items. I just love the sliding door. Now, on this side of the room, you've got this door opening up to your bathroom. Right now, let's continue our tour so I get to show you the third bedroom on the first floor. So coming up from this bedroom, we are going to take a tour into the third bedroom. See, you have a very spacious bedroom space commanding about 26 to 28 meters. Now, on this end, you have this opening bringing you to the inbuilt closet area that you have right here, spanning all the way from the floor to ceiling, giving you the ample space to store in your personal stuff. And all that then, right here, you have this door taking you to the bathroom of this particular room. Now, let's continue our tour so I get to show you the fourth and fifth bedroom on this level. Opening up this door, you are ushered into the fourth bedroom on the first level. As you can see, it's fully sizable and very spacious. One of the things that actually embraces you is this built-in closet on the left side of the space. As you can see, you have tons of openings bringing in tons of natural daylight. You have two big slidable windows on the side and you have a very long tall window on this end. This burglar proof is fixed, you cannot slide it. And then this one on this end is actually slidable with a slidable glass taking you all the way to the balcony of this particular bedroom. Right now, the space of this bedroom is commanding about 40 meters square, which is pretty big. It gives you the ample space to get to do a lot of things. So we've got this door opening up to the bathroom of this bedroom. Now, let's continue our tour. Here we have the fifth bedroom. Imagine a space of about 25 meters, which is pretty big. You have two windows right here bringing in natural daylight onto the premises. On this side, you have an L-shaped inbuilt cruiser space spanning from floor to ceiling, giving you ample space to put in your personal stuff. This end, you've got this door opening up to the bathroom area of this particular bedroom. Now, let's take a quick tour of this bathroom. Now, let's continue our tour so we get to show you the most interesting part of this building, which happens to be the primary bedroom or the master bedroom as some of us would like to term it. Now, let's go so I get to show you what the primary bedroom has got for us. So, climbing up to the last floor, as you can see, you have the elevator, but we will be using the staircase today. 
you are welcome with this little foyer area that grants you access to the primary bedroom voila so this is the space you've got for the primary bedroom the entire floor has been dedicated fully to the primary bedroom the space alone on this floor trust me it's huge this particular area of the primary bedroom can actually be assumed to be the sitting area you can have set as your sitting area or anything to make you enjoy the whole primary bedroom suite you've got this mini kitchenette to actually warm up your food and get to do one or two things without necessarily having to go downstairs to the primary kitchen on the ground level so the space here alone is technically around 50 meters square now we've got this sliding or this big window with a sliding door taking you all the way to the balcony where you get to enjoy the breeze of the surrounding neighborhood now, you've got this as second section of the primary bedroom being demarcated by this particular wall right here. And on the other side of the wall, you have the ladies dressing space right here, which is pretty cool. I love the whole LED light just around the perimeter of the mirror, which is pretty cool. One beautiful thing that actually caught my attention and I definitely need to point it out is the fact that you are embraced with this beautiful inbuilt closet space spanning almost from the end to this end wow this is tons of closets this is actually luxury and everything here is beautiful very spacious you've got the island right here to put in your wristwatch accessories or your ring accessories let me show you the bathroom before that there is one beautiful thing about this primary bedroom that i actually love you have this room or extra space which can serve as an office or study room or game room or mini cinema for the master of the house let's take a quick tour of the mini room so the moment you come in here you realize you don't necessarily have to go to the down level to do anything because you have almost everything that you want right here now let me take you to the bathroom area so the moment you open up this door you are ushered to this beautiful bathroom space that actually has all the bathroom features that of course is in the luxury house so you have a bathtub jacuzzi right here you've got an enclosed shower cubicle right here and you have a twin floating vanity basin with a LED mirror that has a striped light all around the perimeter of the mirror and that's a very beautiful thing we are almost through with our property tour for today if you've watched the video to the end of this video kindly subscribe for me and like this video quickly let's do a final quick tour of the exterior and call it a day thanks for subscribing